Hello Taurus, welcome to your reading for February. So what I have done is I've meditated on some of these cards to see what is in sort for you. Um, this is uh, for February as I said. So what I have done is I've got some guidance cards, moonology cards, romance cards, love cards, I've got the Lenman deck and I've got some answer cards for yourselves as well. I have also done some cards out of my own um, like things that I'd like to put into cards as well so I'm going to first start off then with the daily guidance cards for yourselves so right let's see what we have for you Okay then, so the first card we have for you is Time to Go. So, as it says, the sun sets and rises each day and it is the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So what they are saying basically is whatever you are going through in the month of February, you are going to, um, it's going to be temporary, it's nothing that's permanent. It is a long type of cycle that is due to end and that um, there is a lot of different things that is in your life that needs changing as well. So with things that are happening day-to-day -day basis they are also not going to be lasting very long for you okay next card we have is perfect timing okay so as it says now is the perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations the doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are right for your success. So everything and everyone is on your side supporting your positive outcome. So what you want to do is whatever you want to do, sorry, it is the right time. It is the perfect time for you to embrace what you want to do. Um, whatever job you want to do, go into a new relationship, a career, whatever it is, it is the right timing for you and just to know that there is guides, there is a lot of um, angels that's on your side and a lot of good time, so there's a lot of good things that is on your side for you to get the success that you deserve. The next card then is to release and surrender. So we shower you with blessings of radiant love. Open your arms to release the challenges that you have tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms and the heart to our love and assistance. So whatever you have got um, tying you down, whatever is worrying you, whatever you're suffering from, you need to release it. It could be releasing an ex, releasing something, um, a career that you no longer want or no longer happy in. Whatever it is, you need to release it and just leave it in the past and all the challenges, whatever it is, you need to, you know, give it up to the Lord, so to speak. Give it up to the angels for them to sort out whatever problems, worries, whatever it is. Just try and get it off your chest and it will heal for you and you will feel much better for it at the end. Then you have the Law of Attraction card. So each thought is the investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and to align them with love, peace and harmony. 
at your request we will gladly attune energies to the higher frequencies so whatever it is you put out into the universe you will get back um like as they say like three times more so if you put something negative out you will get negativity back if you put something very positive out you will get a lot more positive back to you so whatever you invest in whatever things you do you will get it back um greater so if you start doing a lot of good you will get a lot of good back for yourselves and you will feel much better for it that could be like helping people out for some of you like you may be um in tuned with like animals animal lovers um or look after people for some of you you may like looking after children also so whatever it is whatever good you put out there you will get a lot of good back okay next then we have the moonology deck which are these cards so the first card that come up then is the new moon eclipse with expect a powerful change so something is coming in that is very powerful um you some of you may not expect it but it's going to come in and it's going to be on your side it's going to be for the greater good so what i'm going to do i'm going to read most of this out now um in depth out of the reading book let's have a look okay so it's new moon eclipse okay so this card then what it says in the booklet is for an affirmation that you that you can say is never mind the past life evolves every single day okay the meaning for this card is yes yes a thousand times yes you're being shunted towards your life purpose. Whatever is happening now is happening for your highest good. And this is an important turning point in your life. So there is something very, very powerful coming in for you. Okay, next one then is the fixed moon with hold your vision. I'm going to read out the book for this one also. okay so there's an affirmation to this card also which is saying yes just say the word a lot and see how it feels the meaning of this is staying power having a lot of faith or patience that is needed someone needs to back down avoid any stagnation and a personal or professional relationship will be enduring next one is the north node with step out of your comfort zone so some of you you may be um too safe as they just say like you you stick to things that you know um so you need to step out of your comfort zone and try and do something different so let's see what else they have for this card okay so it says another affirmation for you to say is i know i'm headed in the right direction so you're headed for something which feels like destiny you need to face a fear and get over it time to stop obsessing about someone or something stand on your own two feet and you've got this and then you have the waxing moon with the energy is gaining momentum so let's see what this has to say maxim moon okay so it says for another affirmation for you i know i'm headed in the right direction the situation is full of potential your dream can come true more effort is yet required are you willing to give it review your goals and ensure that you're still committed and keep moving forward 
Okay. Next, I'm going to do the Lenormand cards. So number one is the bouquet card. Then you have the clouds card. The ring card. Then you have the birds cards. The tree of life. The mountain or mountains. And the birds, which is the owls. So first off then, with the bouquet and the clouds cards okay so what this means is there is to be some type of deception going on um either in a group or in a family there may be some type of false gratitude that is involved also um for some of you there may be some type of confusion going on to do with a family group college work, school, whatever it is. The clouds and the ring. Okay, so this is confusion or a lot of thinking regarding to a commitment or a promise. Okay, the birds and the ring. Here we go. So this is saying you're going to be feeling nervous about a commitment or there's a lot of worrying um, or you're nervous, something to do with a promise, keeping a promise. The birds and the tree. Okay, so this is to do with having some type of speech issues, vocal problems um, or having some type of spiritual problems or issues along that line maybe you've got a lot of spirituality um or you're having problems like connecting to your um guides or spirit guides or to the um or to anyone that's involved in spiritualism and then with the tree and the mountain okay so with this then this is all about a lot of exhaustion. There may be um, some blockages to do with some type of recovery um, or health situation. There could be also a lot of physical challenges that you are going to be facing also. And then we have the mountain and the owls. So with this then, there is to be little stresses. So you're going to be having some type of stress, but the little to nothing, so to speak. Um, and it causes a lot of problems and it gives a lot of anxieties as well. So that's what you need to look out for. Okay, so next then we have the Romance Angels cards. So what we have first for you is healing any family issues that you have. So your love life benefits you if you forgive your parents. So some of you may have a lot of issues um, in your relationship or whatever it is, um, either getting with a person or dating. Your views on relationships and things is all to do with some type of family issues that you have had maybe is to do with the upbringing to do with the parents um, some of you may be religious and you got to stand by what uh, your parents or your grandparents or whatever have always taught you you then have the soulmate card so yes this is your soulmate so whoever that you're in contact with um, whether you go a crush on or you um your life partner if you're still with someone or you are married to it, then this is saying this is your soulmate, this is your person. Let go of any control issues, so allow the situation to unfold naturally. So don't be so uptight 
like they say in you know whatever control issues you have whatever paranoia they just tell you to leave it like basically leave your guard down a little bit more and just let things come out naturally for you then you have the reconciliation card so someone from your past is returning to your life so it could be an ex it could be a friend whoever it is there's someone coming in to apologize to you um, or you're going to go to them and you're going to apologize to them or it's going to come in the form of some type of communication make the effort then you have great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take so what they tell you is to make more of an effort to try and um, embrace your romance um, and whatever it is, they just tell you to make that effort into a relationship, um, to some type of commitment uh, or someone is going to make that effort coming forwards to you. The attraction card then, so you're attracted Sorry, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment for Philly. So this is saying that you have a lot of things to give. There's a lot, you are very, very attracted. Um, people see you very attractive. Um, and someone else is attractive or you see them as attractive. So whatever it is, you're going to enjoy having a pension. Uh, maybe there's a lot of people coming to talk to you or there is someone that you had your eye on or someone has their eye on you and there is going to be some type of communication coming in for you regarding that. Separation. So time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So for some of you, you may be getting separated or there is an argument or there is some type of separation that you needed. I'm getting that there may be some type of um, movement, whereas to having a lot of time just for yourself um, or the, the partner is going to tell you that, you know, it, the, the times are a bit tough and they just want to have that time alone. And then you have give your relationship a chance or work on your partnership so for some of you that is saying you need to put a lot more effort into your relationship or your person is going to um put in a lot of effort into the relationship and you need to give um that type of chance for things to work and to go from there new love so a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So there may be a new person coming in. There may be an email, text message, communication. For some of you, there may be someone that's new coming into your life. Um, maybe you bump into them when you're out. But there is going to be some type of spark that is coming in for you. You deserve love. So you are lovable. You are very attractive. You've got a lot to give. Um, and they're saying that you do deserve love like anyone else. So what you need to do is you need to love yourself as well. And you need to embrace it. Finances and career. So financial issues are a factor in your life right now. So for some of you, you may have a lot of debt. You may have a lot of... Um, worries regarding money job any type of situation like that and is making you a bit down and maybe giving you a lot of problems um in your love life or in a relationship or in marriage um and they're just saying that just to be careful um because this can affect you in more ways than one Okay, so this is calling in your soulmate. So your praise, affirmations and visualizations helps brings you together. So by praying, wishing, hoping, manifesting, you will call in someone that is your soulmate. You will start to have um, this vibration, higher frequency to bring in the loved one that you want, even if that's making the first step 
by talking to this person or emailing this person it will draw in um some good energy for yourself to draw in this person okay for some of you you need to release your ex-partner so the time has come to clear your energy so some of you you may have an obsessive ex or you're obsessed over an ex or you're constantly thinking about your ex and they're just telling you now's the time just to forget about it um yeah maybe there's a lot of memories there's a lot of um connection you have between you and your ex maybe you have a lot of repeated mistakes like you know back and forth back and forth and the same time is now and is ready for you to move on um sort yourself out and find someone new that is for you love yourself first so your self-respect make you more practically no sorry more romantically attractive so by loving yourself looking after yourself saying that you do deserve love you are a great person and by saying all these good things about yourself it will bring in positive energy and it will make you have that energy to pull someone in that is right for you true love so this is the romance of a lifetime so there is someone that's coming in for you that there is um your person you have a good connection there's a lot of love to give and you will feel really really happy and content this could be within the relationship you're with or marriage you're already in and it blooms even more or this could be um, a new starting point for you romantic feelings okay so your feelings are real and worth exploring so for some of you, you may have a lot of attraction to someone. You may have feelings for a person. And what is saying for you to actually open up, get that courage and just go, go with it, go with the flow. And all you can do is make that move and see how it goes. Because you're not going to know otherwise unless you make that first step. A retreat so it's time to disconnect from the world so this is about either yourself going on a little retreat to help yourself to find yourself or this is going on a holiday or doing something with your partner um having a little um get together by going away going on holiday spending some time to with each other and let your friends help you so ask for for and accept support from others so even if you're having a lot of qualms like feeling um you don't know what to do just ask your friends or ask someone for some help and just see how they would um what they would do and just ask for a little help you know it nothing it won't harm you unrequited love so there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going so there may be someone from the past that is coming in someone that you had a lot of problems with um someone that you can connect with but there is for some of you a past lover that may be coming back or in a relationship where there's not enough attraction not enough love um or feels like the relationship's not moving forward for some of you express your love so this is go ahead and make your romantic gesture so this is telling you to make that first move express your feelings and just go from there because you know you ain't gonna know otherwise unless you make that move and then you have the passion card so allow your heart and soul to sing with joy so they're telling you basically just go with the flow release your passion tell people um or the ones that you want to know about the passion the feelings you have and just let this person know okay we then have the lover's oracle card so you are going to be receiving a love phone call so someone's going to express their love to you they are going to send you some type of communication, um, a text or email and express their love. 
and they are going to be saying they've been thinking of you and they are going to be letting you know. Addiction. So someone is very codependent that have a lot of obsession going on. They may be possessive or controlling. Um, and for some of them, they need to uh, um, restrain from it. So they need to um, overcome it or you have this obsession with someone. The phoenix. So there is going to be a new phase that's coming in. Um, either rekindling with someone or renewing vows or renewing love to give. For some of you, there may be some type of changed mind. So some of you may be going through this phase where um, you thought things wasn't going to go your way uh, and someone changes their mind and offer you a cup of love or offer you some type of um, commitment of some kind coffee cup so meeting and conversing so going out meeting up with someone um this could be a friend this could be a date this could be your partner it could be anyone that um basically you're going to be connecting with karmic relationships so someone may be um having a lot of triggers you may have a lot of triggers maybe someone that talks about something or does something and it triggers off something um there could be a lot of life lessons um or they let you go or you let this person go but they still got feelings self-indulgence so focus on yourself know your own self-worth um having that time to heal and there is a lot of self-appreciation coming in. Passion. So there is going to be a lot of insane chemistry between you and someone else. You have both got a lot of things in common. You like each other equally. Um, and there is a lot of fun and enjoyment. And a good get together. And you're both going to let each other know about that. Then you have keys on a ring, so there is a lot of options coming your way. Um, there's a lot of decisions that you need to be make making. Some of you, you may feel that you've been strung along or you've been stringing someone else along. And there could be a one night stand in the mix also. Healing heart, so some of you may be healing from a heartbreak or your person is healing from a heartbreak. Um, getting out of that toxic relationship or addiction um, that you or this person was in. Mirror. So you and this person, you mirror each other. You have a lot in common. Um, there is a lot of wounds that both of you may have that is similar to one another. So you know each other Um you bounce off each other's energy, so to speak. You've both been in the same situation before. Separation. So some of you may be going through some type of sadness. Um, or your person is going through sadness and they're going to they're missing you. Um, they've been thinking about you and they want you back, or you want this person back. And very unsure of the future if you get back with this person or this person get back with you. Vice versa. And then you have the chaser. So there is someone that is a chaser in a codependent relationship that have a lot of abandonment issues. So they've got abandoned either in the past relationships or they got abandoned when they're younger and they have their fears that they'll get abandoned kisses so there's a lot of affection there is a lot of um embracing each other's love giving a lot of kisses being intimate and just you know just embracing that passion okay here are some cards now that i have done for my done um by myself that i think was pretty cool to add to um this reading so the first card that come out then is we will be back together again i apologize we can't see it tidy and then we have i wish things could be different 
I love you. These are what your people are saying to you. They want to let you know. Um, so time of the night. So this is not the right time for something. You then have the base. So there's a lot of self-confidence. Um, there's a lot of leadership roles. A lot of power and strength that's coming your way. Your person is saying, I love your smile. I wish you would make the first move. Like I said in some of these cards, for you to make this first move. Okay. We have a strong bond that is karmic. And the passion and chemistry between us is so intense. I will find my way back to you, I promise. And this connection supports energy healing on Gaia and in the higher realm. So this is very, very spiritual. And they say, it was my fault, but I blamed you. I'm sorry. I expect to see a message from you all the time. This is a divine connection. And we have so many things reminds me of you. Okay, next now we have is the um, answers to your questions. So I want you to have a couple of um, seconds for you to think of questions you want to ask throughout the month of February. And we go from there because these are the answers to your questions. So I'm going to give you some time now for you to think upon what questions you want to ask and we will tell you then what the answers regarding that is going to be. Okay, so let's see what answers we have for you then. So first we have be assertive. Then we have the recovery card. The situation will improve. Remain positive. And then the last card we have then is you're ready. Okay, then Taurus, that is your February reading. I hope it will resonate to some extent. If so, please hit the like button. Please share as well. And I will see you all again soon. Bye.